What 3D printer should I buy for scale modeling? Long version. I see this question a lot on Facebook. It is an important question. After all, people want to get the right tool for the job. However, I see this so often I do have a copy paste response for it. So I thought I'd put this video together to explain my thoughts on what makes a good 3D printer for scale modeling. For beginners or those with limited space, I'd recommend an FDM printer such as an Ender 3 for your first printer. Later, you can move on to SLA, DLP, MSLA printers such as the Mars or Photon. First off, the basics. What is FDM? FDM is what people normally think of when you talk about 3D printing. A reel of plastic is pushed through a heated nozzle, nozzle is moved around to create a layer, and then moved up to create the next layer. This is oversimplified, but we're just getting the basics out of the way. If you want more information, there will be links in the description. What is SLA, DLP and MSLA? SLA, DLP and MSLA printers cure resin to build up a print, so for simplistic sake I will be calling them resin printers. SLA uses a laser beam moving back and forth, reminiscent of FDM. DLP uses a projector to cure each layer, masking off the areas you do not wish to be cured. MSLA does something similar to DLP but uses an LCD screen to mask off the areas and a UV light to cure. Out of all of these, MSLA is the cheapest and is what I'd recommend for the hobbyist. However, it may be called DLP or SLA. This is marketing, not how it works. Again, more information in the description. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of FDM printers and why do I recommend them to beginners and those with limited space? The advantage of FDM is that it's cheap to run, has a large build area and is less hazardous to work with than resin. The disadvantage of FDM is its low detail level and rough finish that will require sanding. To give you an idea of the cost, an Ender 3 costs less than £200 for the base model, PLA is less than £20 and a glue stick for bed adhesion is about a pound and that's you ready to go. Compare that to the resin printer later. For detail, the smallest you can make a part is 0.8mm in the XY and 0.12 in the Z. I would advise against making something this small as it's likely to break coming off the bill plate. All FDM parts will have layer lines. You'll need to fill and sand to clean these up. For scale modelling, this means you can make large models relatively cheaply. Yes, they may not be the cleanest, but with a bit of sanding you'll be amazed at what you can make. The Ambutank on screen is a conversion made on an FDM printer. Parts were sanded down and glued onto a dragon kit. Links in the description. The big appeal in my eyes of 3D printing for scale modelling is not just downloading parts you find online, but rather making your own models, and as a training tool, FDM is a good start. Being cheap to run means mistakes are not game over, but a learning experience that in a few hours can produce a replacement part. Tools are commonly made with PLA as it's less brittle than resin and it's tough enough for most applications. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of a resin printer and why do I recommend them not to be your first printer? Resin printers are much higher quality than FDM as we're talking either the diameter of a laser beam or a pixel on a screen. However, they are much more expensive to run, have a smaller build area and are hazardous to work with. On the cost side, a resin printer such as the Photon Mono costs about £300. Resin is about £30 per litre, however you will need more consumables than this. You'll need IPA, £25 per 5 litre. Gloves, about £12 per 100. FEP film wears out, so that's about £15 for a pack of 5. You'll need a UV light source and somewhere to clean your parts. The LCD screens used in MSLA printers wear out over a few months. You'll need to replace them and they can cost anywhere between £30 to £100 depending on printer. Make sure you can get the spares as they are essential for keeping your printer running. So this is not a cheap type of printer. The resin used in printing can cause immune problems if it comes into contact with skin, hence why you need gloves. However, it also has an odour which many find unpleasant. For more information about how to use a resin printer safely, here's a link to Makers Muse video on resin printers. Most resin printers have a smaller build volume than their FDM counterparts. This is due to the size of the screen. 
You can get larger resin printers than the Mars or Photon, however, you will find that an FDM printer is always cheaper than a resin one at those sizes. For scale modelling, the quality of a resin print is what makes the hassle and price worth it. I've had people come to me after getting a friend to make one of my models in an FDM printer and ask me why my prints look so good and why do I have so little cleanup compared to them? The answer is always, I'm using a resin printer. And that's the difference. So what can you make on a resin printer? Anything you can make on an FDM but with better detail, as long as it fits in the bill plate of course. For comparison, here are two prints. This is from a 1 over 48 scale canal defense light turret. The yellow one is from my Ender 3. The one actually on the model, and painted green, is from my Mars Pro 2, a resin printer. Many small details are missing from the Ender 3 print, such as the detail around the hatch, and the bolts on the roof are barely visible. I'm actually surprised these even worked. The bulge around the MG mount has parts missing where it was too thin to work. The steps on the roof are also very pronounced. On the side, you can see the layer lines from the Ender 3 printer. On the Mars printer, what you're seeing is not actually layer lines, but pixelation. A bit of sanding would have removed both of these, but this is a comparison. At the end of the day, it is your choice to go straight to a resin printer. I know many who have, and they've had no problems. Yes, there was a learning curve, but it was not hard. For K-scale models, I started out with FDM printers, such as the CR10, then moved on to an Anycubic phone. Currently, I have a CR10, an Ender 3, two Mars Pros, and a Photon. I use my FDM printers for prototyping, large prints, tool holders, and diorama parts. My resin printers are mainly used for model making as they are much higher quality. I would like to thank you for watching my video today. Please see the links in the description for more useful information, including my models, many of which are free to download.